Yeah, that's when I noticed the chief of police car pulled up. It said chief on it. I said, man, we got to do something. We're getting tired of just meeting them, dropping this and that. We give it to one person, they can split it between all. So I get out of my car and I walks over there and man, them cops was paranoid than hell. They all jumped out with their guns out. Who you, man? Who you? I like the motherfucker based out, man. Hope they don't pull the trigger. <laughs> Thinking that I come back here to rob them or I'm a bed or something. You know, like, hey, 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 you know me. He said, yeah, what you doing back here though? I said, I'm just back here to meet your, to meet your boss. Chief, what you want to meet me for? I need to talk to you in your vehicle or my vehicle. We need to talk to get this uh, situation straightened out. He said, we ain't got to talk about nothing. I said, I think we should or we're going to just disappear altogether. He said, disappear? I said, Let's talk. We walking, we talking. I tell him, check this out, man. We've been giving your men's eight balls and we see all y'all smoking on it. And that ain't no, that's not enough for y'all. What do we give you a quarter of a key? You should be able to split that up. He was like, a quarter? Yeah, okay, he gonna take the quarter, man. I'm like, God damn. I thought he was going to be half and half, you know? He, he, no, man, just give me that quarter of a key. Yeah. So I reached in. That's a quarter. Who? Like, that's a lot, man. I said, yeah, you have to split it between all your men. We don't want your men coming, talking to us, meeting us nowhere or anything else. We don't want shit going down the wrong way because people talk, whether you know it or not. We don't want to have no conversation <laughs> with nobody but you now. You own it. He was like, man, okay, okay, okay. I keep them away. Yeah, we keep them away where they don't raid us. But keep a lookout in case somebody try to rob us. He's gonna rob y'all. We heard about what y'all did up in in Toledo. Like, huh? We ain't did nothing in Toledo. He said, Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 yeah, sure. But anyway, we heard about things happening up in Toledo. We don't want that down here. You keep y'all shit on a low level, and we'll make sure we keep ours. In between where we don't fuck with y'all, y'all don't fuck with us or none of the people up here. We don't want to wind up with a whole bunch of bodies. I said, I understand you. I understand. I leave. Tell tell everybody what happened. Which kind of told me, maybe we should go up there. No, you can't come up here. Go to Cincinnati. That's right around the thing about the being down there, dude. We got this. Y'all come up here, it's too many goddamn of us and y'all know how we get we'll start clowning on people y'all taking on the to cincinnati me and uh which car we got this just right so of course they go to cincinnati and they say man cincinnati is open too really but them motherfucking racist i said yeah i heard about that a long time ago <laughs> they racist he said yeah but we got it we uh got all the people not fucking with us and basically we not selling we just selling the weight to them we ain't got the houses like y'all got. Y'all got the crack houses on. I said, yeah, boy, well, yeah, well, now, until we get the people who are used to us, then we're going to start selling them the weight. And if they sell it like we sell it, don't step on it, you can make money. Of course, after a while, we do get it like that, where we just take up half a key or a key or whatever they can afford to buy from us, because we can't give assignments, because these niggas will be running. Cincinnati opened up beautifully. Toledo was rocking. Which car in them had that motherfucker place rocking like a motherfucker. He was buying condoms and all types of houses out that way setting it up. I went to which car condom. I said, it's nice. <laughs> it looked like a cheap ass apartment building, but real nice. I'm on condom. Shit. Condom my ass. But uh, he was like, man, this is what condoms is. Man, it looked like a regular ass house. You just got upstairs. What else, so, what else so good about it? Man, my woman do all this. You want me to cook? Lasagna? Homemade? From scratch? Hey, Wanda! Wanda! Uh, what are they calling me? You ain't met me yet, baby, but uh, 
I heard about your uh, lasagna from scratch. How much you charge me to make me a pan? Personal pan, you know? Man, I really don't, I give you 200. 200? Okay. <laughs> what you gotta look at us on? It seems like you do anything for a piece of change, huh? <laughs> He said, baby, I got 200 for something else. <laughs> Wanna smoke this black pipe? <laughs> we talked about that. Then, uh, of course, later on, I found out she was smoking crack. <laughs> but she made that 200 to buy herself an eight ball. <laughs> Couple of them. So uh, she made the design of the design. It was out this world, though. Shit. But that was the first and last time I ever had any of lasagna. After that, which God kept her away from me, he, he said, man, you're you gonna try to freak her, ain't you? Mm -mm. You said that too slow, man. I know you, boom. You're gonna try to freak her, ain't you? I know you a freak. I see what you be doing to them other girls. And man, them girls just love some uh, big black guy be like me. You know, beautiful, gorgeous. Damn, I can't even pass a meal without taking a second look. Give me my damn self a kiss. Mm -hmm. I'm so sweet. You know what I'm saying? But uh, he kept her away. I never went to his place again after that. I went and got me one down there on Jefferson. Nice little place to stay when I'm there. But I let the girl that I was kicking the wolf up there stay. I said, yeah, baby, you keep this place for me. So whenever I come up this way, I got a place to come to. She said, you ain't going to be. I'm going to be there whenever I pop up. You won't know. Just don't have no niggas up in this place. And I don't even like to use that term. But with the ones you mess around, don't have none of them up in here. I'm not the jealous type or the possession. But I don't want nobody coming in this place. That's, I don't know. She said, oh, no, 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 Uncle keep it clean and everything. I said, I hope so. You ain't got to pay no bills, no nothing. Everything else going to be taken care of. I got open business around there. I go around there to the place I want to open up. And I buy the building and I open it up. Everybody like, crap, janitorial. I said, yep, open me open. In every city I go to, that's the way I have money coming in to show where I'm getting my money from. That's a slick idea. That's when they start opening up businesses and so forth <laughs> and assume name so they can show where they get their money from. See, that's the best thing to do, dude. You walk around with all this money, buying all these beautiful cars and jewelry and clothes showing off. That's going to be your downfall when you ain't got no place to show. Come on. Well, I gamble. Well, you better make sure you go to a place that give you receipts or that you do visit to so you can prove, hey, look at the camera, I was there that day, see that, I won this and that, won this and that, so you can be able to show your money. He said, man, that sound like that, uh, D-slick shit. So, of course, we opened up a little places in Toledo. I did a couple in uh, Lima. I was gonna go to Cincinnati, but they done burnt that damn place out. Because they started so much crap up in that man, I ain't gonna go through there. I go through there, they gonna be thinking one thing, this nigga come through to try to take over, even after the other guy from Detroit came over here and took over. Well, heck, what new guy? But uh, we take off from there, we go back to Detroit. Get back down to Detroit. Of course, which guy them telling me about what happened in uh, Toledo? I'm like, yeah, man. Uh, he said, man, it's coming along, but coming along good, but we just moving away. I said, it's the same thing that we finna do in Lima. Cincinnati gonna do it. So basically we had to send somebody else out to fill out some of the other uh, states around here. He said, yeah, that's a good idea, man. Let's try to get it done in all the states. I said, that's the best way they can get big money. Cause each state we go to, the shit costs more than they do here in Detroit. We can take it up there. Like when I went to when I went to uh, Minnesota, man, they was paying three times the value for a goddamn key. I went, whoa! I started slipping my ass through that, man. Then when which kind of found out they they eased up in there, I didn't know that they was going through there doing the same thing I was doing. But uh, 
everybody started coming, hey man, Dofu was up there paying big money for a key. I said, where? Oh, nowhere, nowhere. What you mean nowhere? Big money. You in Minnesota, ain't you? <laughs> yeah, that shit ain't funny, man. That was my little spice. And man, everybody can get some of this, baby. We all one group, ain't we? Something go wrong, we all shows up. I said, I can really take care of my own shit. I don't like a crowd of people, witnesses and shit. They talk about, man, you going to team up, man. You got to be a part of the team. I said, I am part of the team. Until the team show too much threat or something or become a, <laughs> a anchor. <laughs> so of course we did it up. I'll let them do what they need to do up there. I was getting enough anyway. And that's when I heard what you they're talking about they want to go to New York. I'm not going to New York. New York kind of hot. They already getting down, but he said, yeah, but we could get down with that money. Y'all go ahead. Let me know how it turn out. I might go over to Pennsylvania or even into New Jersey, but New York is just too big and everybody in there got it. Not to mention, you know, I know some of those people up in New York. The Italians, I know, you know, like, man, Oh, you talking about from your boy day? I said, yeah. But when they tried to hire me to hit him, and uh, I couldn't go for it because they lied to me, talking about that he had older than them. Couldn't figure out, no. They didn't want to have to buy from a black man that was getting his straight from the source. So they wanted to try to get him knocked off so they could take over and put their shit back in because their shit wasn't selling away shit. After which car started doing his, I mean, been on. He was making it. <laughs> and when they tried to hire me to hit him, I was like, man, uh, of course, I don't just hit nobody without finding out about them, what their routine, so I could be in their next run about, and I'll be there waiting on them. So, of course, uh, I didn't even know Frank like that. I just knew him as the Italian wanted me to take him out. And, you know, money's money to me. I don't, I don't take anybody out as long as the price is right. But when I found out they lied about why they wanted him taken out, and I went back there and told them. I said, did this. Uh, you lied to me. So, what you talking about? We paying you to hit the guy. Why won't y'all hit him? We can't get close to him. Why is that? He owe you money? They didn't say nothing. They just shook their head up. Man, you just supposed to do this. I said, man, you ain't supposed to lie to me. When you lie to me, that make me not trust you now. So what your game playing? No, what you talking about? He don't know you. The word is that y'all pissed off because y'all got to go to a black man and buy your stuff from him because y'all shit is like garbage. Nobody want to buy from y'all no more because you got a taste of his. So they were like, man, that, that ain't right. So what you mean that ain't right? You ain't supposed to be doing all that, man. You just supposed to do as we pay you. Hit them and leave it alone. I said, no, I like to do research. So now that I'm not going to do it, even though I got to turn down another half of the money because the money you put in, you lose that. So what you mean, man? I said, hmm. You don't get no payback for what you paid me up front because you lied. Man, you can't keep our money. So I don't know. Me and my boys, we already split it up and we ain't giving it back. Man, you want some trouble? Hmm. I don't know. Should I go for the trouble or should I give you the money? Which one do you think? He said, man, what kind of shit is you talking, man? <laughs> I said, well... Those little red dots on your shirt telling me I ain't got to say shit. They went to look on. They went. Oh, it don't wipe off. Man, what's going on? I said, those little white dots might be dripping in a minute. Now, what you want to do? You want to forget about it? 
man, you can't extort us like that. Uh, don't y'all extort people and do all types of other crap too? Now, this is what I'm telling you. This man better not come up with a scratch on him. He come up with a scratch on him because of some bullshit y'all put out. I think uh, he might be willing to pay me to take y'all out. There's too many of us. <laughs> yeah, there's a whole army of us and we all special for us. <laughs>